Hello and welcome to the Dress My Craft YouTube channel. This is Ujwal and today we will be learning a new pop-up card. So before we go ahead with the tutorial, don't miss to subscribe to our channel and like and share and you know all the regular deeds. So let's begin. So today for uh, the tutorial, I'm using this Me Be Mine paper collection from Dress My Craft. It has a really romantic feel with blacks, whites, and reds, and uh, has some florals and also some couple images and Eiffel Tower and all sorts of uh, love things. So basically it's perfect for Valentine's Day or any love project, love theme project that you wish to um, make. So I just wanted to give you a quick clip through and then we are going to pick one sheet uh, from the pack and start with our card. So for this card I am uh, making a small one for which we will need two uh, two pieces of paper pattern paper measuring eight inches by six inches each so i will be able to get those two pieces from a single sheet of paper here and uh, of course i'm using the dress my craft uh, trimmer to trim down the pieces so once you have trimmed down the two pieces we are going to score them so for the uh, for the first uh, paper i'm scoring it every two inches so the width is uh, eight inches so i will get three score lines at two inches four inches and six inches and now i'm going to rotate the paper and score again at two inches each so i will get this score line at two inches and four inches because this uh, side is six inches wide so basically you will get three rows of four uh, squares each measuring two inches by two inches once you've done that uh, I'm going to score another line in the middle row half inches before the first line that I scored earlier and I will go do the same thing on the other side as well a half inch line scored only in the middle row not on the other two top rows top row as well as the bottom row there will be no score line but there will be a score line on the middle row so you can see uh, how this looks right now now we are going to cut from the uh, new line score line that we created half inch uh, away um, and we will just cut the middle part we are not going to detach it uh, all we are going to do is just score from uh, or rather cut from one score line to the other in the middle row only so I will just show you I think uh, the picture will make a uh, better sense here so you can see I've just uh, cut across that score line in the middle and same thing I'm doing here and for this I think this uh, trimmer is perfect this would be uh, impossible to do with a gelatin trimmer so this trimmer is perfect because I can slide the blade and uh, cut in the middle as well so this is how this looks right now and this is the whole base of our pop-up card that we are making now we are going to just reinforce all the scores that we did so I'm just kind of folding and pressing down the score lines and our pop-up cards uh, actually settle down after a little bit so you need to uh, fold and score them a few times so that the folds settle in their places and then it is easier to uh, kind of open them up so I'm folding and scoring all the lines here again and again and this will settle the folds uh, in the way that I want them to open so moving on to the next part so with the next uh, sheet of paper the other eight inches by six inches sheet I'm just going to score at four inches um, across the eight inch side and fold it to make a four inch by six inch card and now we are going to glue these two together so uh, this is how my folded card looks like right now and you can see I have um, uh, alternated the folds so if one fold in one row is uh, towards me the other fold goes towards down so uh, you can arrange this however you like to stick the cards I'm just going to stick the two sides the two ends so um, again this will be more clear in the video so I'm sticking the first side just align it to your four by six card that you folded and stick it and here is the other side as well so you want to apply glue only to this area and not to the middle of the card otherwise of course it will not pop up so just hold it in place for a little while and that's it there, there you go now if you fold it and close it it will fold perfectly like a pop-up into a four by six card 
and then once it opens it ha it'll have all those details and because i like this eiffel tower side i'm going to invert this card and uh, uh, open it from this side and it's time to embellish so i'm using the b mine coordinating motif sheet here i've already cut it out and again this process takes me a million years so i've just uh, fast forwarded the whole thing and uh, just adding little bits and pieces you can decorate it however you like you can add photographs you can add messages uh, it's just uh, another fun take on a regular card and uh, yeah so i added all the sentiments some flowers hearts i also matted uh, some of the areas so i can add photographs later and um yeah that's it that's how it looks for the front um and to keep this pop-up closed i'm using the satin twine in white um and just tying a knot there and then again i, I repeated the same process for the for decorating the top part as well using some scraps of paper um this is a punched piece uh again using a dmc punch or just my craft punch and i added sentiments some florals and that's it that's how the card looks right now and uh you can see the details on the inside as well and it was super simple and just something fun that you can create for valentine's day and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh don't forget to like share and comment and i will see you again next time Bye bye